name is Alex Carr. I'm a student, skier, inventor, and now an entrepreneur. This patent is for a product that I developed from a failed ski trip I had in the Utah backcountry my sophomore year here at the University of Utah. That product evolved into a company called Charpoles, which is known worldwide for creating a ski pole that has uniquely incorporated camera mounts, screwdrivers, bottle openers, and other functional equipment into ski poles. This defeats the seasonality other ski pole designs face and makes char poles more than just a ski pole. It began on a three foot powder day at sunrise in the mountains hiking to the ridge with my friends. I got to the top and realized my boots didn't fit into my bindings because I'd lent the skis to a friend and he'd adjusted them. I was searching relentlessly through our packs with hopes of finding anything to adjust my bindings, but found no solutions. Without luck, I began to trudge back down our steep trail along the ridgeline while my group of friends enjoyed one of the best Utah storms to come our way in years. I'll never forget watching them ski the greatest snow on earth as I had no choice but to walk my mismatched gear back down the mountain. That's when it came to me. I had a dream and a vision to do something cool. This passion became my life. I found myself sketching constantly and nearly every surface became my canvas. The concepts continued to pile up and the passion grew endlessly. I knew the University of Utah had resources to help me pursue this dream, but I did not know where to start. That fall, I was struggling to find classes that aligned with the goals I had for working on this idea. I felt like I was studying things I couldn't get engaged in and always found myself looking for classes and activities that really interested me around campus. Just two days before classes started, while searching the course catalog, I stumbled on something that caught my eye, the word innovation. I knew I could get interested in a class like that, so I enrolled in the Innovation Scholars class taught by Kathy Hadji. Her class pushed me to fully understand the value of my idea. Why would skiers want it? Why would this do well in the market? A few weeks later, our class met with librarian Dave Morrison at the Marriott Library, and that's what started me down the path of turning this dream into reality. Dave helped me research patents and understand what was already out there, as well as what I needed to do to make my product unique. He helped me to understand patent protection from all angles and how critical it would be to my success with this company. Searching the United States Patent and Trademark Office's database brought to light what I had created was a novel idea and had not been invented before. Within a few short months, we had filed patent applications. I began making prototypes to test the design and marketability from anything I could find. I had an aluminum mold made at a local machine shop and we bought generic plastics online. We 3D printed some handles and found bike grips that went over them. When the aluminum mold was made, I found a hand press injection molding machine just days before I was scheduled to attend my first trade show. I finished making the first samples just hours before driving all night to get them to Denver, Colorado to be unveiled at the largest snow sports trade show in North America. The market response was a success. I exhibited them over four days and the product received an outstanding response from retailers all over the world. Charpoles was awarded industry-wide product development accolades. Once I returned, I knew it was time to turn this into more than just a few prototypes that could get people's attention. Naturally, I turned to the library again for information. I reached out to librarian Alfred Modude for some market research. He sat down with me, and together we found some amazing resources I never would have been able to get without being a student and having access to people who truly cared about helping me with the development of my business idea. Even when the library didn't have the exact resource I needed, they got it for me, and I actually had a part in deciding what resource would be most beneficial. Designing internationally manufactured goods required effectively communicating the colors I wanted the products to be to a supplier overseas. I needed to find colors and materials that I could touch and feel. Resources like that just didn't exist in their collection. But instead of turning me away, they said, that's a great idea. And within two weeks, they had thousands of dollars worth of Pantone color books so I and all students could have a tangible reference for future product designs. Another example of the Marriott Library's commitment to students is when Alfred purchased a subscription to Outdoor Research to help with my due diligence. The Marriott Library has this motivating and uplifting feel to it, and I know I will always be able to find the answers I need with the resources there. These resources have been invaluable to me as I continue to develop my ideas. It has saved me time and allowed me to move further, faster. Getting this help from the Marriott Library has given me a platform to build upon. 
I've been able to refine my product and make data-driven decisions for my company while pursuing my academic career as a student at the University of Utah. I am one of few U of U students who has received an official patent from the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. This achievement never would have gotten off the ground without a talented and devoted faculty at the Marriott Library. We've had numerous sample orders from our overseas supplier and our first product shipment just arrived. It will soon be sent out to the distributors all over the world in order to be sold in retail markets domestically and internationally. The Marriott Library continues to be an incredible resource for me and as a student, I have found that the Marriott Library has all you need to turn a dream into a reality.